We've all watched as a 220-pound NFL linebacker launches himself in the air, colliding headfirst with the receiver, jarring the football loose at the last minute to stop a would-be touchdown. It's these vicious hits that sports leagues at all levels have tried to eliminate in an effort to reduce concussions caused by a blow to the head. The University of Pittsburgh Medical Center's Sports Medicine Program estimates that between 1.7 and 3 million sports and recreation-related concussions occur each year, and that 5 out of every 10 concussions go unreported or undetected. Concussions have become such a problem because I think most people don't realize that they have a concussion or that they have chronic post-concussion symptoms. And this is because lots of physicians don't know how to treat those symptoms. They don't know how to treat the pathology. And so they attribute it to something else. Concussions can be very, very damaging because even with conventional medical knowledge, concussions aren't seen as that serious. This could be in part because concussions are synonymous with the term mild TBI or, or mild traumatic brain injury, which that qualifier already sounds not so severe. But to the hundreds of thousands of patients that are struggling with uh, these severe chronic concussion symptoms, they are very neglected, they are very misunderstood and, and underserved. While concussions in sports make the headlines, they can happen to anyone at any time, from a motorist in a car crash on the highway, to a soldier setting off an explosive ordinance in a war zone, to a senior who has experienced multiple falls in their home. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that from 2006 to 2014, the number of traumatic, brain injury-related emergency department visits, hospitalizations, and deaths increased by 53% in the United States. So many times our patients look just like you and me, right? They're not missing an arm, they're not missing a leg, they can still go to work, they can still go to school, they still can take care of their families and feed themselves a bowl of cereal if they need to. But what we're not seeing is what it's costing them to do that. This fMRI capability allows us to truly see how the brain has been rewired in order to do these activities and do these functions. And what we find is that often it is very inefficiently wired and there is a toll and a cost uh, to that individual brain and that individual person's functioning. As more steps are taken to prevent concussions, advancements are also being made on the treatment side. Over the past decade, the epicenter of this progress has been taking place in Provo, Utah at Cognitive FX, a leading neuroscience firm that is on the cutting edge of research and treatment. Cognitive FX is uh, the product of uh, years of research with myself and, and Dr. Mark Allen, um, looking at uh, functional MRI and trying to collect a normative database for what, uh, what we're measuring with basic neuropsychological tests. Uh, now, 20 years later, uh, Dr. Allen and I have been able to use that information and apply it to, to treatment for this underserved, misunderstood population of patients. At Cognitive FX, staff pride themselves on providing world-class treatment that is focused on improving patient health. It starts with FNCI, an imaging and testing tool that allows for an individualized, comprehensive approach to each patient's medical care. FNCI works by picking up blood flow changes that happen when brain cells are really active. So when a brain cell does its work, it needs oxygen and it needs it right away. And so the brain has a, has a method of getting oxygen to brain cells that need it the most right at the minute, right at the second that they need it. And it's really reliable in most people. And if it's the least bit not reliable, you feel it. And so in concussion, it's very easy for that system to get out of order where the, the brain cells are working fine, the, the vascular system's working fine, your heart's working fine, but it's not getting blood to those brain cells that need it the most when they need it the most. So the FNCI allows us to see where that's happening and then it allows us to fix those areas uh, where blood flow isn't going and keep it from going to areas where it's going too much. 
whereas many medical facilities treat concussions over the course of several months. Cognitive FX condenses that into a one to two week period. Adding to the likelihood of success is the fact that each patient is supported by a team of up to a dozen specialists who utilize a multidisciplinary approach to addressing the underlying cause of post-concussion symptoms. So initially, each patient begins with an FNCI scan. This is a very intensive task-based fMRI that allows us to see how that brain is functioning, how it's actually working to do hard things that we have to do in a normal day, right? Problem solve, focus, remember things, uh, pay attention. That scan is then interpreted and feedback is given to the patient. We then take that individual scan and craft this personalized treatment program for that patient. That patient then undergoes this one or two week long program and ends with another functional MRI, another FNCI. That post FNCI shows us how they progressed during that treatment, what therapies were working, what things do we still need to work on. At that point in time, that patient may need maybe a little bit more treatment or they may be doing so well that we can send them home with uh, therapies and activities that they can do on their own at home. For many, life after a concussion is unbearable. Persistent headaches, loss of vision, confusion, fatigue, nausea, memory loss, and depression are just some of the symptoms that can impact a person's ability to function at home, at school, and at work. Without the proper care, these symptoms can linger for months, if not longer. So on top of that roadmap given by the FNCI, we have professionals and our therapists here, we, they're not just employees, and these are all people who are at the top of their field who are our therapists. And so patients are meeting with 10 different ones of those every day. And those people are the key to delivering the right therapy. They know all the details about that patient. So they know what to push, how hard to push, when to m make the patient keep going, when to give them a break, um, and exactly what to do in that activity. Of all the organs in the body, it's the brain that is among the most important, controlling our actions and reactions. The brain allows us to think and feel all of the qualities that make us human. When the brain is injured, we lose a significant part of our humanity. With their average patient improving their brain function by 75% following treatment, Cognitive FX is helping people suffering from concussions recover that which is most important for their lives.